In this video, I'm gonna show you a quick way to back up your Reaper settings to your Dropbox folder. So to do this, you're gonna use the Automator app built into Mac OS. This is unfortunately a tip just for the Mac users, and I'm doing this on the new M1 Mac Mini. I've already built this workflow, which is this Reaper backup config to Dropbox app, but let's go through it together and uh, make one from scratch, because it's actually really, really easy. So just double click on Automator to start it. And we're going to make a new application and click Choose. So first we're going to get Finder Items. And so on the left column, you're just searching for keywords like Get Finder. And so uh, Get Specified Finder Items. This is when you want the app to search for specific files for you. Get selected finder items is for apps that will act on things that you drop into them. So in this case, we're going to get the Reaper folder. And so I've already bookmarked that here in the favorites list in Finder. So I'm just gonna drag that from the path bar into this automator window. And so it's going to get the Reaper folder. And we can test this by hitting the step button. And so it just warns you that it's not gonna get an input when it's from inside Automator, that's fine. If there's a check mark, that means that it's found that folder. The next thing we're going to do is create an archive. In other words, it's going to make a zip of that folder. And where is it going to save to? Let's put it into a temp folder. So I actually have one saved here for my Reaper install. So that's going to be under my, my username, uh, and I'll just put it into this temp folder. Okay, save as, this will be, you just save it as whatever your Reaper install is. I've got, I have three different installs on the go for three computers. So I'm gonna call this one Reaper M1 Mini. The next step is to move this archive into the Dropbox folder. We could actually save it directly into the Dropbox folder, but just to avoid Dropbox starting to sync while creating the archive, we're just gonna put it into the temp folder and then move it out of the temp folder immediately after. I'm going to move finder items. That goes in there. And where are we moving it to? We're moving it to our Dropbox uh, folder. And I have a Reaper configs folder and a Reaper Mac folder. And you can see here, I've got Reaper Mac, my mini, and my MacBook Pro. So I'm just gonna drag the folder name into the move finder items section. And as long as you got a little green plus symbol there, that's going to let you copy the path. So let's go over to my temp folder and we'll just test this. So I'm gonna hit step again and okay. And step again. So it's creating the zip, and we can see it here, put into the temp folder, and then we'll hit step again. It's taken it out of the temp folder. We check the Dropbox folder. We see Reaper M1 mini.zip is there. That's the new one I just made. At this point, you need to remember to give this a name. So just hover the mouse over this bar here at the down arrow, we can name this. So Reaper um, to Dropbox, something like that. I save it to the applications folder. The benefit of putting into the iCloud folder, which is by default, is that it'll be accessible on all your Macs. Uh, but in this case, the applications folder is fine. And yeah, so that's just a simple app that you can double click and run. Um, from the applications folder. And if you want to edit the, the workflow, you can just drag and drop this onto Automator and we'll open it up. Um, otherwise you can go to Automator, open, and then select that workflow. I really love Automator for this sort of like kind of object-based scripting. I think it works really effectively and it's fairly easy to learn and understand and troubleshoot. For actually running this workflow, I think um, rather than scheduling something 
adding some third-party software just to get the scheduling aspect of this. I think I'm just going to add it to my Stream Deck, and I'll just run it whenever I think of it, and uh, and we'll see how it goes there. On my other Mac, I'm using software called Chronix, which will run this workflow uh, at any specified time. So I have it uh, running at 12.03 a.m., and I found that Doing this with the zip file uploads much quicker to Dropbox. It's a little less wasteful, I think. My previous workflow of uploading every single individual file, which can be tens of thousands of files with all the Reaper scripts that are in there when, when you have Repack installed, um, I found that that took a long time and made the computer run really hot every night and things like that. So it was just kind of wasteful and time consuming to do it that way creating a zip file, then uploading that and replacing if there's anything the same name, that um, that seems to be the best workflow. Even though I think technically you're uploading a little more, more data, it's just easier to upload one file than uh, thousands of little files. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.